Sawadee Ka. Hello and welcome to Variety Thailand with me, Grace Robinson, on Voice TV, giving you an insider's view every time. Now, are you one of those people who love to customize your own photos and upload them onto Facebook? Well, today we take a look at the popular and humorous app taking social networks by storm. Meet Nico Nico. Social networks are commonly used in the everyday lives of people from all walks of life from across the planet. The popular networks are used for communication, sharing information, as well as advertising. And they also make a great platform for visual artwork. Nowadays, designers and cartoonists are able to take advantage of technology and use it as a platform to share, sell and show off their work. Artists who have a unique style or use a catchy gimmick often stand out in the world of online art. Meet Louis Kitagon Boon Kate, the designer and creator of the popular Nico Nico stamp by Photo Up. This application, downloadable free from iTunes, has become popular for its cutesy images and fun, easy to use features. The app is part of a new generation of technology, especially fashionable in Asian pop culture. The app works by users uploading their own photographs or images and then decorating them with Nico Nico stamps, stickers or artwork. When you download the app, you get certain stamps for free and can purchase more if you wish. The app was named after the word for smile in Japanese. Louis says the main character usually brings a smile to people's faces. There are three sets of characters on the application stamps. The main one is a man with a pointed quiff called Murasaki Sang, meaning purple man. Murasaki is cheeky and playful and is often drawn in humorous stances or outfits, though his face often shows no emotion and stays the same. Sometimes he is dressed as a girl, a nerd, and sometimes he even poses in animal costumes. Murasaki is a little odd and perhaps a little crazy looking in the funny poses he is drawn in, but he is always cute and endearing, keeping his large fan base entertained. The second set of stamps is based around two boys, Ku Jin, an Asian pop culture trend who really love one another and spend all their time together. This set is called Buddy and has a huge female fan club following. The pair of sweet, friendly boys appear on stamps in different poses, hugging or with their arm round one another. The third set of stamps, Birdie and Maxi J, was inspired by Louis' fashionista friends and celebrities on Twitter who have a wacky, unusual fashion sense. All three of the sets of stamps designed by Louis received a huge amount of popularity in a short space of time. In their first week on being on the App Store, they came second in the most downloaded apps in the photo and video chart. Louis says one of the best-selling sticker sets on his app is the home and office set, which contains objects found around the office, such as scissors, which is popular with office girls. Even the most unartistic people can design and customize their own personal photos into something creative with this app. Louis just started drawing a few years ago and recommends other artists and graphic designers to experiment with modern technology as a way of using and selling their artwork. Using social networks like Facebook and Instagram and making a fan page is a great way to share your work with many people instantly. And one day you never know, it could be used for a fun application like this one. You can download this app free at the App Store. Just look out for Nico Nico or have a look at Louis' work on at Kitagon in Twitter and Instagram. You can also see more at facebook.com forward slash photo up application. Well, did the main character in the stamps remind you slightly of South Korean Psy? I'd say it was quite a close likeness. Anyway, thank you for watching me, Grace Robinson, on Variety Thailand on Voice TV. You can catch us again next time at www.voicetv.co.th. Kaffun kha, sawadee kha.